Hi everyone, welcome to Last Week on Xbox One. I'm your real host, Uncle Jesse, and each and every week we cover the top submitted posts over on the Xbox One sub right. Family football time, thanks to the Xbox One. Derek G15 posted a thank you to Xbox and Microsoft for allowing him and his father to enjoy the NFL opening game together via Skype over on the Xbox One. This is a great and a very underutilized function that's available over on your Xbox One, especially if you're a Kinect owner. So make sure to check that out and go build. The hell was that? Mr. Llama Juice posted a GIF of his Metacop that he performed in the Battlefield 1 beta, followed up by a syringe. This was a really cool trick that he was showing off during the beta and he actually followed up with a video showing off how you can actually perform that stunt. Who knows if that'll actually be patched before the game's officially released. I have a funny feeling that they will, but regardless, it was pretty dang cool to see him scale the entire side of a building thanks to that little maneuver. Nothing wrong with a little friendly competition as well as a little friendly teasing. If you're not aware of what's going on, Sony had a conference this past week announcing some new console variations, including a PS4 Slim and a PS4 Pro. Microsoft went out and tweeted a great photo that really highlights some of the key features of the Xbox One S. User AS Empire posted an article from the Xbox News team stating that the Xbox has been rated the fastest and most reliable gaming network from a research firm. This was all around the Xbox Live service and how it's readily available in comparison to other gaming networks, as well as the actual speed and performance in comparison to other multiplayer games across multiple platforms. So there you go. Xbox Live really kicks ass. Hey, who am I? I'm Major Nelson on Twitter. User Grumpy Gaze posted a tweet from Major Nelson stating that Fallout fans have been enjoying mods over on the Xbox One since this past May. Bethesda earlier in the week came out and stated that there will be no mod support for PS4 users, unfortunately for either Fallout as well as for the upcoming Skyrim re-release. So if you've got an Xbox One and Fallout, you can take advantage of that today as well as starting all the way back in May. And there's been a ton of people enjoying those over on your Xbox One. Just another reason in this show why the Xbox One is kicking ass and taking names as of late. All right, you guys, that was this week's show. As usual, make sure to leave me some feedback down below. Let me know what you think of the show. Also, make sure to head on over to the red.com slash r slash Xbox One subreddit to stay on top of all the latest gaming news and trends. Also, if you haven't already, make sure to hit up the Party Chat podcast. We have new podcasts up each and every week. Also, there is an AMA going on this week with Dream Loop Games, creators of Stardust Galaxy Warriors. That'll be happening this Wednesday, so make sure to check that out. The game is phenomenal. The awesome awesome soundtrack with that game also right over here we've got an unboxing by our fellow mod delicious cheese of the record collector's edition you can actually win a record collector's edition yourself by heading on over to the subreddit and checking out the contest that is going on right now i cannot wait to get my hands on that game it looks pretty damn cool all right and i'll see you guys next time bye now Everybody, welcome to last week on Xbox One. I'm your host, totally Uncle Jesse, and each week we cover the top submitted posts over on the Xbox One. So. <laughs>